on the News Channel 5 Network. This is SCORE on Business. Welcome to SCORE on Business. I'm Pete Hendricks. I'm your host today and a serial entrepreneur. Check us out at scorenashville.org. We're a nonprofit that wants to help entrepreneurs and small businesses succeed. We have a lot of services. We have um, classes that are very low cost. We have uh, consulting that's no charge and access to a lot of other uh, resources as well. So check that out, scorenashville.org. And we're, our next guest is Raul Regalado, and he owns Raul Regalado and Associates. Before he did this, for 11 years, he was the president and CEO of the Nashville Airport Authority, which includes, of course, the big airport that we know about, as well as the John C. Toon Airport over in uh, West Nashville. And he led it. He, when he led the Nashville Airport Authority in the aftermath of 9-11, which of course was a big deal, but also when you think of an airport, an airport has, the, the primary airport has a big impact on the economic viability of a city. And he led it through some great economic times. Then also when we had the turndown in 2008, Nashville didn't suffer nearly as much as, as some other other cities did and and Raul thank you for your service and supporting that and so Raul now helps um, small to medium businesses and organizations with their growth and success so thank you for being here well you're, you're welcome yeah. it's a pleasure and with with Raul Regalado and Associates tell us about what you're doing I didn't quite get that the way I wanted well, I, uh, I'm, I found a way to give back to the business community uh, and because the business community has been very good to me over the, mm -hmm. the last uh, number of years. And uh, that's kind of my mission these days is to give back uh, uh, to the business community, to the community at large, and in my mission work, I'm giving right. back to the kingdom. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, and, and you and I, of course, have, um, are on a regional board together. and. As I have told you, I have never known anybody who asks the right questions as well as you do. And so when, when getting started with questions and entrepreneurs, when somebody is thinking about going into business, what are some of the key questions they need to answer? Well, I, uh, the questions I ask a, a potential entrepreneur uh, or an entrepreneur starting a new business, as mm -hmm. they usually do, is uh, what do they want to do? Why do they want to do that? Um, what uh, moral compass are they going to use in, in running their business? And uh, is, um, you know, is this consistent with their own personal mm -hmm. strategic plan? Right. Okay. And one thing I'd like to get your comment on, um, I talk to a lot of people who want to start a business because they're they're tired of the boss or they want to want more free time or or whatever. Tell us a little bit about what it takes to to get a business off the ground. It takes a lot of intestinal fortitude. Yeah. Um, yeah. And time. Yeah. Uh, you don't start a business to gain free time. Um, right. Because that's just not in the cards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, it, it's all consuming um, and unless you have, uh, have a, uh, an understanding family, yeah. uh, it can be detrimental. And that's why I, I, uh, I'm adamant about uh, when I talk to a potential entrepreneur uh, that what they want to do is consistent with their, with their life goals yeah. and that's their family exactly goals. That's exactly right mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the, the, you know, a successful business with a family that falls apart, maybe not. Right. Okay, so when, you, as I mentioned, I really like the way that you take in information and ask questions. What can other folks do to build that skill of asking the right questions? Well, first of all, a, a good leader um, and now a coach, which is what I do, yeah. an executive coach, you have to be able to listen. Uh, and not only listen to what is being said, but mm -hmm. listen to what's not being said. Right. Uh, because most people tend to shy away from uh, the unpleasant or, or negative uh, issues. Uh, and as a consultant or, or a coach, 
uh, that's your job is to yeah. ferret those out. Yeah. Um, and even if uh, listening means that there's a lot of uncomfortable silence, uh, that's what you have to do. Right. Right. That that makes a lot of sense. Um, you leadership is a big area of focus for for you when you're working with a young company. Tell us why that is, as well as some of the areas that you focus on. Well. Uh, Leaders, uh, one of the primary function of a leader um, is to develop other leaders, uh, and uh, in order to do that, uh, you know there there are many ways. Uh, obviously, there's formal training, there's uh, there's uh, informal training, uh, leading by example. Uh, but one of the uh, one of the principal uh, functions and responsibilities mm -hmm. of a leader is to develop other leaders. Uh, leadership is the future for business in this country. Um, and we've fallen behind, mm -hmm. uh, and in order to recapture our position and maintain that position in the future, uh, we need to ensure that we've got good leaders, good leaders coming up, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, ready to take over uh, when when the time is uh, is correct. What are some things that an entrepreneur could? What am I trying to ask? How, what are some things that, that you would suggest to entrepreneurs to build their leadership skill set and capability? Well, there are, you know, they talk about born, born leaders. Uh, there are very, very few born leaders. There, mm -hmm. there are some, um, but uh, leadership is, is really learned. Um, and so uh, it's lifelong learning. Uh, Begin going to leadership uh, development courses, uh, leadership classes, mm -hmm. um, find a mentor uh, within your organization or outside of your organization. Try to uh, find a coach, uh, an executive coach that will help you develop uh, uh, at various points in your career. Uh, you might need someone to provide some pointers uh, mm -hmm. to you to, uh, to develop those skills. Um, but it's a it's a continuous process, uh, and uh, even even if you are fortunate to find yourself in a in a high level uh, leadership position, you still have to continue. You still learn. Mm -hmm. uh, there uh, there are that's why they have leaders in, in those right. positions is because there are always new situations, mm -hmm. usually unpleasant situations that uh, that you've got to deal with. Uh, if everything ran smoothly and there weren't any problems, you wouldn't need managers or leaders. Things would run right. by themselves. Um, and let's take a quick break and we'll come back and finish that thought and talk about some other things. Great. Okay. Hey, come back with us. We'll be right back.